Okay, Ethan, what happened in there? Yeah, did that witch go over all the evidence? Uh, I'll, I'll tell it. It uh, went down just the way we knew it would. The evidence was, uh, it was pretty damning. I, uh, didn't see you in the courtroom. Oh, I've, I've been there the whole time. Yeah, Fox, um, you really shouldn't be here. I mean, you're a witness for the prosecution. And I need to tell you this straight up. You better watch out because I'm going to rip you apart on that stand if I have to, all right? All I can do is tell the truth. Fox, please, it, you can't really be sure that you saw Miguel driving the car that night. Why don't you just recant when you're on the stand? Uh, you mean lie? Yes, lie. <sighs> Look, okay, I don't, I don't want to hurt you or cause you any pain, but I will testify to what I saw. That's all I can do. No, he's right. Recanting wouldn't do anything either because even if Fox said that suddenly he didn't think it was Miguel behind the wheel of the car, Nancy would use that too and just say that Fox was being manipulated behind the scenes somehow. My best to make sure that your testimony is considered unreliable, all right? Do your worst. Miguel, I'm sorry. This isn't fair. You will lose Miguel, Kay. You can bet on it. Ethan, will I have to testify soon? Yeah, right now. Actually, you're late. I've already called Fancy Crane to the stand. Darling, you are my star witness. Your testimony will help put Louise Lopez Fitzgerald to death. He would sell his own mother down the river if he thought there was something in it for him. I just, I don't think things are going to turn out well for the least of Miguel. Miguel. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This, this is my fault. Listen, hey, don't be crazy. Hey, Venga, you have done so much for me and Luis to try and keep this from happening. Okay, without your money and all the, all the power you now have, we would have been sentenced to jail weeks ago. You know what? The two of you wouldn't even be here if I had just obeyed the blackmailer. Listen, stop it. All right? I just only wish you hadn't obeyed the blackmailer as much as you did. You sacrificed being with Ethan for us. And Luis hates that as much as I do. And, and after everything that we've given up, we're at the mercy of, of a judge who doesn't give a damn about anything but his own well-being? Hey, ja, basta. Okay? Everything's going to be fine. It has to be. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. It'll be okay. Going to let your wife get away with this? For now, Father. None of this will matter once I get up on the stand and testify to the jury that Miguel was the one who tried to kill me. This is bad, isn't it, Ethan? I'm not going to lie to you, Fancy. We got an uphill battle out of us. I think if Riley had his way, he would probably skip both trials and sentence Luis and Miguel to the maximum sentence. But it is up to him. Not entirely. We still have the jury. I mean, if we can convince the jury that they're innocent, we're in the clear. Then there is a lot riding on my testimony, isn't there? You're gonna be fine. Just remember, Grace Nancy is a shark, okay? She's gonna twist your words. She's gonna make you seem like you're completely unreliable. That's her M.O., right? Yeah, well, even if she's hard on fancy, you're still gonna get a chance to cross-examine her. Exactly. And then I'll undo any damage that she's done, okay? Jury's coming back to me. All right, court is back in session. The prosecution would like to call Miss Fancy Crane. Don't blow this, Fancy. Louise's life is at stake. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. So my fate's basically in Fancy's hands. It's okay. I mean, your supposed victim believes that you could never be guilty, right? You know, what if she isn't able to convince the jury of that? 
Then we got a problem, Luis. Yeah. It's called the death penalty. So you're a policewoman, Miss Crane. That's right. As well as a victim of Louise Lopez Fitzgerald attack. Jack. Forgive me? A victim of the suspect's alleged attacks. Overruled. She can't say that, Judge. Overruled, Mr. Winthrop. When Mr. Lopez Fitzgerald... Forgive me, I will rephrase that. When you were first attacked, you were participating in an undercover operation, is that right? Yes. Which proves it wasn't Luis. Luis was at the police station when I was accosted. He only showed up at the scene later. In fact, he was the one who chased my attacker off, or who knows what he would have done next. And don't just take my word for it. There were witnesses who can vouch for where Luis was when my attack started. There was proof he had nothing to do with it. Proceed, Miss Nancy. Your Honor, if you don't mind, I would like a moment to review my notes. Of course, please go. Thank you. Betsy's doing a good job, isn't she? Yeah, better than good. But it's not easy to hold your own against a shark like Grace Nancy. I'll tell you that. She, she looks flustered. You know, she, she looks nervous. That's a good sign, right? Mm -hmm. I hope so. It appears that she didn't know that Luis had an alibi during Fancy's first attack. Well, let's hope she's as unprepared for my case. Yeah, you know, um, you probably shouldn't be here. Uh, Luis and I were both just called back in. Oh, I know, but it, it probably wouldn't hurt if you left. You don't, you don't need to be around for this. Why? I don't like the idea of both Lopez Fitzgerald brothers sitting here together, it might send the wrong idea to the jury. Are you ready to continue, Miss Nancy? Yes, Your Honor. Don't get too cocky, Fancy. That woman would eat her own young. After reviewing my notes, I found that you were correct, Miss Crane. Louise Lopez Fitzgerald did have an alibi for the first attack. However, there were times after that he wasn't quite so fortunate. That doesn't mean he attacked me. I know he didn't. No, the witness will only speak to answer a question. Yes, Your Honor. Take it easy, Fancy. Don't lose the jury. You were about to say that you know that Luis did not attack you. Is that correct? Yes. That's interesting. In, in light of the fact that evidence has already been presented to this jury concerning that night, when you were under so-called police protection, the night that acid was poured on you. It wasn't poured. The witness will refrain from such outbursts. No, that's all right, Judge. I mean, we all can understand how devastated she must be. No one wants to remember anything like this, no awful, terrible attacks like this. But thank God they didn't pour that acid on your pretty face. That they just got your legs. Are you going somewhere with this? Yes, I am. Luis stationed himself right outside the building where you were attacked. You realize that, right? Yes. And when you were awakened didn't... by your attacker, you looked up and there was Luis standing over you with a vial of acid in his hand. Jackson, she, she's leading the witness, Your Honor. Overruled. Answer the question, Miss Crane. Well, yes. And are but... you aware that when the police searched Luis's body, they found the key to open your bedroom door? Someone planted it there. Listen, 
The accused will remain silent. Now, you advise your client, Mr. Winthrop, or I will add contempt to the other charges. Now, answer the question, please. Okay, here's the thing. There had to be someone else there, someone Louise chased away. Oh, really? How would this so-called person escape? When the only way out was the window in the bathroom that was locked from the inside. I don't know how they got out, but they did. Well, you're going to have to do better than that, I'm Miss Clay. I'm telling you, it wasn't Luis who attacked me. He would never hurt me that way. I know him. Do you? I know he's innocent. Is that right? Well, then you won't mind sharing with the court why, even though you were romantically involved with him, after the first attack, you wouldn't allow him to touch you. Why did you recoil from him on more than one occasion? That isn't it possible that your subconscious knows something that your person doesn't want to admit? Isn't it possible that deep down you have always known who your attacker was? That you've always known, contrary to what you're saying here and what you would like us to believe, that you have always known that the person that attacked you was Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. Oh. Oh. Look, I object. This this whole line of questioning about this half-baked psychological theory is That's ridiculous. That's enough, Mr. Winthrop. Your Honor, this is nuts. Well, that is for me to determine. Now, don't let me warn you again. I don't look kindly on anyone wasting the court's valuable time. Your Honor, I can't this accept the This is a final the warning. Final warning, Mr. Winthrop. You may proceed, Ms. Nancy. Thank you, Your Honor. We don't need to proceed with that line of questioning. How about this one? When Officer Luis Lopez Fitzgerald was found in the apartment of the man that he slaughtered in cold blood... Uh, uh, object. Objection. All right. I'll move away from that as well. You do remember shooting Luis. Is that correct? I, I didn't know it was Luis. Which leads us back to your subconscious. Isn't it possible that deep down you knew exactly who you were shooting? That you were presented with an opportunity to get justice for the horrible crimes that have been committed against you? Object. Horrible, horrific, unfathomable crimes. Especially when perpetrated by someone you trusted, even loved. You shot Luis knowing full well who you were shooting because you knew he deserved to be shot. You knew you were shooting the man who had hurt you, Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. The truth is you love Luis Lopez Fitzgerald, don't you? I'm... I... And that is why you were utterly devastated by his actions. And as much as you wanted to deny that he was the one who hurt you, you can't fool your own subconscious. Your Honor, please. Sit down, Winthrop. It was unfathomable that someone you loved so much could be capable of such violence. To force himself on a woman, murder a man in cold blood. No! And it would be devastating for anyone but especially someone like you, someone who's lived such a privileged, sheltered life, almost like that of a princess. That's not the way it was. But you're not the one on trial here, Miss Crane. No one would blame you for wanting to exact revenge against someone who had hurt you so much, someone you had trusted with your life, someone you trusted with your heart. You shot Luis because you knew he deserved it. <laughs> No more questions, Your Honor. Are you going to cross-examine the witness, Mr. Winter? In a few minutes, Your Honor, I'd like to have a, a brief recess. I'm so sorry, Louis. Order in the court. Can you restrain the witness, Mr. Winter Bailiff? Can you get the witness away, away from the defendant? Something. Our poor daughter. Look at me. 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 Look at me
cry. Don't cry. I, I've ruined everything. She wasted all my work. The jury's going to find Louise guilty. I think. Okay. It's okay. We knew it was going to be hard. We knew she was going to be tough. But you have to hang in there. It could have been worse. could have been worse. I don't see how. Did us a favor. She didn't bring up your past with your sister. Okay. Pretty? She's got nothing to do with any of this. Louise, I, I don't know what to say. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. 